Outside the Book continues from the 2015 Southern Kentucky Book Fest. I'm Barbara Deeb, where more than 150 authors have gathered, and uh, the crowds are getting a little bit louder, so we're going to have to speak up a little bit, but we are honored to have with us Terry Brooks. Thank you for being here. Oh, good morning, Barbara. Thank you for inviting me. Your books are labeled in the genre epic fantasy. So they are. So they are. <laughs> Is that what one sets out to do? Well, I don't know about others. Um, I set out to write an adventure story. Um, I just didn't want to set it in the current world because I was afraid I would have to do research in order to get my facts right. So I set it in an imaginary world filled with imaginary creatures, uh, feeling that if I was asked about my resources, I would say, yes, they're all up here. You know, in this imaginary world, you are the creator. I am. You are. I am the god of my own world. You are. Yes. What's that like? Well, I, I don't know. You know, there's a certain responsibility, obviously, because uh, there's a requirement of consistency for epic fantasy in order to make it believable enough that readers will buy into it for the period of time that they're engaged in the book. Um, and it, 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 I think there's a demand uh, that it not be uh, dumbed down either. You want it to be uh, concerned with issues in our own world, for example. Uh, you don't want it to be one-dimensional. So there's a surface story that deals with a, usually a quest of some sort, but there are deeper issues that are being addressed. Things like uh, destruction of the environment, uh, things like uh, moral responsibility, uh, things like making hard choices when there are no good choices to be made. So is that important to you that your books carry those messages? It is important to me because I think all good literature has, the, has that, those elements present in one form or another. The books that I really loved, I was an English major, I've read all my life. The books that I really love and the ones that impressed me when I was growing up and when I was in school and then afterwards were the ones that had something more to say than wh what was on the surface of the story and had a deeper meaning for those people who wished to uh, take a look at something beyond just the surface story. What makes a good character? You mentioned being the god of your own universe and you can create these characters so you can give them this moral fiber. But they have to be compelling, obviously. Um, I think you do that by understanding uh, that you have to emulate the way people are in real life. So characters can have strong qualities, uh, but they also have flaws. People are flawed. It's the nature of who we are. And overcoming those flaws or coming to terms with them, I think, to a great extent, uh, are what make them interesting enough to us to want to know them better and to stay with them for the duration of a story. So an English major, obviously you like writing. When you look at where you are now with this amazing, this amazing amount of work that you've put forth, are you where you wanted to be? I don't think I ever knew where I wanted to be <laughs> when I started out. Uh, I think young writers start out just wanting to have somebody look at their work. Just give me a shot, you know, uh, mm -hmm. and then please let me publish one book and then, oh, maybe I can do one more. Please give me a chance at that. But looking ahead, uh, I've been writing stories now for 50 years. I've been published for mm, almost 40. Um, and at no point did I have a timetable. I just wanted to keep the quality of the work even, at least, if not better, from one book to the next. I hate it when I'm disappointed by an author's work. I didn't want anybody to feel that about my own work, so I worked very hard at trying to keep the quality level even, at least. Um, you know, I, I think I'm I, looking back at it now, I can say this is about as good as I could have expected it to be. Um, I don't have any particular regrets. I think I've had more than my fair share of good luck. And what's next? What's ahead? Oh, I don't know. Another book? <laughs> uh, you think? Hopefully another uh, 20 years of writing. Uh, that would be good. Um, I have other stories to tell. I'm always working on something new. I'm lucky enough now that I have a, a TV show coming out based on Elfstones of Shannara uh, that will air either late this year or early next year, I think. Um, and it'll be called? I, it's called Chronicles of Shannara. Okay, so they kept yeah. the name. They kept, the, well, yeah, you bet. They kept the name. Um, I'm very excited about it. I've looked at it, uh, some of the rushes, uh, some of the trailers. Uh, nothing's public yet. They're still filming it off in New Zealand, but uh, it's getting closer, so I'm very excited about that. Um, I think it's going to be a very successful experience. 
continued success. Thank you very much. Thank you, we've been talking with author Terry Brooks.